Hassan al-Basri said, O oh, son of man, you consist of seconds and minutes. So every time part of you is gone, part of you is gone. Every day you will never come back. And because we are naive, oh, tomorrow is the weekend, we are happy, right? It's the weekend. But we don't know that is one week of our life left, gone. What did we do in this last week? That's why there is something called self-inventory. Muraqaba. That every day before you go to sleep, you sit and you ask yourself. Umar ibn Khattab used to hit his leg and say to himself, Say, where did you go today? Talking to himself. What did you see today? What did you hear today? Make a istighfar. Ask Allah for forgiveness for the things that you did wrong during your day. On the night of Isra and Mi'raj in the Jannah, he heard the footsteps of whom? Bilal. Bilal is still on earth. His footstep he heard in the Jannah. When he came, said Bilal, what is the secret? Tell me. I heard your footsteps in the Jannah. He said, O oh, Prophet of Allah, whenever I take wudu, I pray to Rakas. Are you ready to do that, brothers and sisters? Good. And don't forget to pray for me. Eh? The Prophet Sallallahu said, لا يحافظ على الوضوء إلا مؤمن. The one who maintains his wudu is a mu'min. So always maintain your wudu, and when you lose the wudu, renew it. The scholars said, Subhanallah. A child when he's born, when he comes out from his mother's womb, his hands like this. Holding, gripping. Gripping what? They said as if he's holding the dunya. And when he dies, like this. Telling you, I didn't take anything from it. I came empty handed and I left it empty handed. You die. The scholar they said, when you die, you leave children, wealth, and your amal. And they say one stays behind you, doesn't follow your janaza. Which one stays at home? Which one stays at home? The money, the wealth, doesn't follow your janaza, stays there. Your children, they follow your janaza and your amal. And one enters with you. And one goes back to start huh, using the money that you left behind. Only your amal goes with you to your grave. The children, they cry. Two days, three days, then they will forget you. True or not? We'll go to Allah alone. So we should be ready for that. And he is going to ask us about our wealth, how we gained it, and how we spent it. He's going to ask us about our youth, how we utilized it, how we spent our youth. What answer are you going to say to Allah? I was listening to music. I was watching footballs. 
and he was watching movies. What answers are you going to give? How you spent your youth? Tell me. What answer are you going to give? This question is going to be asked to you. To every one of us. It's time to sleep. I've been waiting for you. Don't listen. Carry on. The food is ready. Don't listen. Carry on. Till you finish your jizu. The shaitan. When you try. To obey Allah. He comes in between. And he tries to compromise with you. So don't listen. Carry on. So we have. To read the Quran every day. On a daily basis. May Allah Azza wa Jal save all of us from the shaitan. And the Khalifa of the Muslims, Uthman ibn Affan. The authentic isnad to Uthman. He stood behind the station of Ibrahim one night. Maqam Ibrahim in the Kaaba. Immediately after Isha. And he finished the whole Quran in one rak'ah. The whole Quran, he read it in one rak'ah. And he finished just before Fajr and he left. Ibadah was there in their blood because they enjoy praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh, oh, oh.